the stream. There we go. I've added myself to the stream. Welcome to a bit of a live tutorial on how you can add a booking calendar to your course. Um, so for those of you who are not joining uh, joining me for the first time, my name is Linda Reed Enova. I am the founder of the Course Creators Circle, uh, where we get to teach you all sorts of things about course creation and help you with resources and tips for your course creation journey. In this tutorial today, what I'm going to delve into is I'm going to duck off screen in a few minutes and show you how you can put a booking calendar into your calendar. And this is one of the bonus is about being a group member with me um, and seeing some of these things pop up and tutorials pop up from time to time to help you with your course creation journey. Um, and I was putting a booking calendar into my course and I thought, well, maybe some other people want to see. So why would we use a booking calendar? Why would we put a booking calendar into our course, I hear you say. So there are people who, like myself, offer coaching and consulting as part of their, their course, or they want to offer their members maybe a discount or an opportunity to buy an upsell and buy some coaching alongside their course creation journey. And that's why using a tool like Acuity and having a booking calendar come into your, your system and into your courses and having them embedded nice and easy for people to be able to find it uh, works really well. There's a couple of other times that you might use a booking calendar, and that's if you want to... Um, pre-qualify your course students and you want to pre-qualify students along the way uh, or you're running a group program you might do that there. So the two cases and two scenarios that I use it the most inside my course creation journey is when we have students who uh, we've, sold, we've sold a course and as part of that course um, just like you guys get in the VIP course creation circle memberships you've got the opportunity to book you know a planning call with me and then a course review call with me as part of the membership. So um, that's where we use it we use it inside there. So if you really want to see this going, head to the Course Creators Circle Hub and jump in and see it from there. But what we're going to do is we're going to delve into now the screen. I'm going to show you the screen sharing. Now, the tools that I'm using are Thinkific, obviously. I'm a Thinkific approved expert and ambassador. So I'm going to be using their tools to show you how to do this because it's my platform of choice for teaching on. And I'm going to use Acuity, which is our booking calendar that we are using. Now, you don't have to use Acuity. You can use any. We've, we've used good calendars like Meetfox, um, You Can Book Me, uh, Calendly, all have embeddable booking forms, but we're delving into the world of Acuity today for this tutorial. Um, and if you decide you like Acuity and click on our link, or uh, think if you can click on the link along the process, we do get a partner commission throughout that. So I'm just going to let you guys know and full disclosure going through that area. Okay, so let's, I'm going to add my uh, screen to the screen share now and we're going to jump in, jump in here. So the first place we need to jump in is to our uh, Q&A scheduling program. Um, and you'll see this is my calendar set up and a whole heap of stuff in here. So what we've got now is we've got availability and we've got appointment types. Now, if we were making one for our course, we're going to make a new appointment type going through and we're going to make a new appointment type service. Um, and we'll just go to this test appointment call course okay so this is our little test one that we're going to do right now which calendar does it go to does it go to my calendar or Clive's calendar or, do, or both it's just going to go to my calendar do I have any forms that I want to come through this no how long do I want it for how long do we want it for 20 minutes 30 minutes 23 minutes um, an hour and you can put in whatever time you would like if it's going to be an upsell you would price it here and Acuity will attract uh, connect to Stripe so that people can pay you and they can get the price out from there. The other option you've got if you're doing paid ones is you can put in a coupon price. So if you wanted to put in a coupon price, you could put in a coupon on an existing calendar, like a fee-for-service calendar that might work for you there. Uh, what if the categories, if you've got categories set up, you can set up from there. This one is free at this stage. We're not going to worry about it from there. Do we want to put a picture in? If you wanted to put a picture in, it's just a matter of choosing a picture and we just created one for this video. So why not pop it in just for the demonstration purposes of it? Now, we don't want it to be a public one because it's going to go into our calendar. So we want this to be private. So we enter the private box, which that means that only the admins and the people with the booking links can see it. We then create the appointment type. And we wait for that to happen. And while that's happening, we're going to move over into the world of Thinkific over here and we're going to manage our learning content. So inside here, we want to go to a course. So I'm just in my test school here. This isn't the pretty version. This is the test school, just so I can show you what's going on. And we're going to head into our example course over here. Okay. Now, you can put your lessons in in a number of ways, and we'll do, we'll do it both ways. So we're just going to jump, jump down here. We're going to find our call that we are looking for, that we created here. Beautiful. Test appointment. There we go. So there's our test appointment there. Okay, we get a direct scheduling link. 
and this is the first way you can put your calendar in. So you've got the direct scheduling link over here and you've got copy this link. And the first lesson type that you can do is you can add a lesson and you can use the multimedia lesson and you can go book a call with me or you know something really nice and, and funky about it. And if you've got the direct booking link, it's a multi multimedia link. And if we hit save changes, the link will go in. And if we hit preview, we can preview the current lesson. And what it will show you is, is that lesson embedded in the book of call lesson. And it just brings it up and that's the multimedia lesson. So the image that we popped in there is there, our call is there as well. Now I tend to prefer the text lesson version. So we'll go in and we'll add another one here. We're gonna put in a text lesson. And the reason I like the text lesson is we can use code. Text lesson, just, just for the sake of it today so you can see it. So book a call text lesson is there and we're gonna use the code. But what you can do with this one is you can say, you know, Write in some intro text, intro text. And how they can book. You can also add a video in. So if you wanted to talk about a video, especially for upselling, you're putting some paid courses in, you might put it in, insert a video from your library. So insert a little video in. I'm just grabbing a video that I've got in there at the moment. Um, and then you put in your booking calendar. So what we're going to do now is we are going to go back over to our acuity section over here um, and we've got our look, um, we've got our direct link, but we've got the embed scheduler option here as well. So if we go to the embed schedule, grab that piece of script out and we're just going to copy this, all the gobbledygook that goes on the web. Uh, we're going back to our example course over here. Now to put the code in, what we need to do is we need to switch modules over here to the code view. So our video and everything has gone in as it normally would. Inside goes our code view. If we then get rid of get rid of the code view again, so click on this little button up here, our WYSIWYG editor comes back. Now what you see, what you get editor comes back and your booking calendar is in the lesson from there. So if we save changes on this one, I'll preview it and just show you the difference between the two. But really, that's how easy it is. It is quite easy to be able to do so. So let's go and look at our current lesson. And the reason, as I said, I like this tech lesson, test lesson version of it is that we can give them an intro about what the call is, we can put a video in, and we can encourage people to make that booking. They then click on the times in your calendar and they continue and they make the booking as they would normally. If you've got a fee in place, they will be charged for it as well. So I'm just going to stop sharing my screen. That's it, guys. That's how you would embed a booking calendar in to your course. Um, I hope that tutorials helped you a little bit along the way and um, I'll see you around when we do some new ones. Bye guys.